War. War never changes. Hey everyone, I'm Spectral Star, and let's go ahead and talk to Elder Max. I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. Uh, preparing for war? Care about them? I thought we were preparing for war. The Brotherhood is here to prevent a war by starting one of our own. The difference is, our war won't reduce civilization to ashes. What do you want? What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet. To start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, you've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, Sweet. befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Yes! Wear it with pride. Oh, I will. I'll do my best. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. His hand went through his chest. He's so buff. He's he's just way too buff. Let's uh let's go get that storage container. He's just too buff. He's too strong. Alright. Can't wait to get that suit of power armor. It's a T60. It's gonna be sweet. And that's one step closer to getting through the, the glow, pretty much. Good. Carry on, Knight. Congratulations on the promotion, Knight. Hey there. Our vertebrates should give us the air superiority we need to win this war. Okay. Uh, now. Hey, wait, wait. Where's my stuff? I at? believe we're due for a bit of a chat after you've spoken to Elder Maxim and Paladin Dance. Okay. Kitty, kitty, heard a kitty. Snuggle poo, snuggle poo. Where's the snuggler? I'll administer your exam after you've checked in with Dance and Elder Max. Where's the snuggler? <gasps> snuggler. You so cute. You so cute. What are you doing? Are you reading the Boston Bugle? Yes, you is. You reading the Boston Bugle? You are. You're kind of lifeless looking in the face. No. So how did it look out there? Paladin. We've got a lot there of work are. ahead of us, brother. How did it go with Elder I Maxon? Can't believe it. My orders from Elder Maxon were approved. Maxon's age. Maxon seems so young compared to everyone else. You're okay with that? Don't let his age fool you. Maxon's a brilliant tactician, a formidable warrior, and possesses an idealistic vision for the future of the Brotherhood. I'd follow him anyway, without question. He's dedicated. He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. <laughs> won't let you down. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now. I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Let's go. Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. Okay, Piper, I want you to go back to, uh... But she can't go back to... I just go back to Sanctuary Hills. I'll uh, get Piper back a little bit later. I uh, just want to get this. I'm proud to be serving under Elder Maxon. He had enough alliance in his foolish ways. Lines. There are days I miss being out in the field. Usually during lunches. Okay. All right. So basically. What are we doing? Tour of duty. Let's meet all the dudes. The dudes guys. Try it now. Nothing. I was supposed to report ten minutes ago. Power you can't fix it. I can't fix it. So, you're the new recruit I heard about. 
Huh, not what I was expecting. Did you tell? Expecting? What were you expecting? The last batch of recruits we took on were wastelanders. Dirty, beaten up, looking for a handout. They were desperate and looking for an easy out. You look like you're here for a reason. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Uh, power armor. Is this where I get my power armor? Ha! <laughs> That's always the first question from the new guys. Let's see. I just fixed up a pretty decent T-60 suit. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. It's sitting in Bay 3. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. Uh, getting around well? Actually, you seem to be getting around really well. I suppose it's better than the alternative. Anyway, if you need any work done on your power armor, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. Okay, I think I get it. She doesn't. She's an amputee, which sucks. And I hope that doesn't offend anybody that I said that. I didn't mean it in a bad way. She's handicapped, I guess I could say. We'll check that stuff out later. Then we're going to meet some more people. Is a huge responsibility. Hey. Dr. Tegan, we'll get the job Step done. forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. <laughs> Looks uncomfortable. Looks uncomfortable Excuse in there. Excuse me. It's not that bad. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. Good to know. That's good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. When I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, they give me the stink eye. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. That's right. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. Extra work? What sort of extra work are we talking about? Oh, no, 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 no. It's nothing like you're thinking. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. Night. All right. Thanks, buddy. He's a nice guy. They put the nice guys in the cages. That figures, right? How can a machine believe it's alive? It's ridiculous. <laughs> Excuse me, Captain Kate. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? Uh, yeah. Sure. Go right ahead. All right. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? Before the war? There wasn't that much radiation around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? Let, let me check my notes. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Possibility. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Diseases? Have you had problems with the crew catching diseases? Well, yes, actually. 
It's not unusual for our recon teams to stumble across contaminated environments or disease-carrying creatures. We don't want a single crewman infecting the entire ship. Anyway, uh, this exam is about you, so... Have you had or come in contact with anyone carrying a communicable disease? Never been sick. Never been seriously sick in my life. Good, good. Third question. And please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? That happens often? That happens often enough for you to have a question about it? You'd be surprised how many Wastelanders answer yes to that question. Fortunately, the Brotherhood finds that type of behavior absolutely distasteful. Since you haven't spent too much time in the Wasteland, I'll assume your answer is no. Last question. God, you give have me a couple more hours. the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? Morals question? Or only to defend myself. If my life's in danger, I'll do whatever it takes to defend myself. That's an acceptable answer. And the most common. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. People out there banging Brahmins, I guess. You snooky snoo. Can I answer your questions next? Okay. Ah, good. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon Hello, as Hello, Egon. Can. Where's, uh... Where's Ray? Books? What are you doing with all these books? I suppose I could stop working for a moment to address your question. I agree. Makes sense to get rid of the trash. Well, I'm pleased you agree. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Meeting the crew. Maxon wanted me to meet the crew, so you were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. I could help. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Yeah. Add Victorium. Subtract Victorium. <laughs> The fuck is wrong with me? All right, well I've met everybody. Twinkle tit. Well, I guess maybe I haven't yet. Now, where do I get? I gotta meet with Elder Maxon. Or yeah. Where's the uh, power armor? I want a damn power armor. Fuck. Pinging remote units at 30 second intervals as requested. Don't get me wrong, guys. I like you, but I want my power armor. I need my power armor. I'm gonna take my power armor home and put it on a rack for forever until I go to the glowing sea. Yep. Maxon! Okay. This is a younger Maxon. I don't know if it's the Maxon from the first game, but oh well. Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Privilege crew, are you ready for your next assignment, brother? Yes. Yes, Elder. Good. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? 
Super mutants? Super mutants? I thought the enemy was the Institute. Super mutants are no better than sects. They're a reminder of man's folly when it comes to harnessing technology. Whether it's using biochemistry to manipulate genes, or trying to create life from a bunch of circuits. It's the wrong path for science. As members of the Brotherhood, it's our sworn duty to exterminate these abominations in every form. Some of so, them are bad. Can I count on you to get the job done? Consider it done. Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant filth. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. Something feels wrong about this in a way. I mean, not all the super mutants are bad. I've had plenty of super mutant friends. Marcus, for one. I need my power armor. Where's my power armor? Let me have the power armor. You said it was in the lower decks, but... Is it in the upper decks, or what? Oh, here we go. Maybe it's down here. Seeing it down here. Where's my power armor? I need my power armor. Is this it? By Elder Maxim's orders, all forms of technology should be is it? There it is. If you run into any sense, shoot to kill. We don't take prisoners. Understood. If they're bad, I will. If they're good, I won't. We are finally in an epic piece of power armor or epic suit of power armor Unless it is time like shot, never turn your back on a gun. to go over there and stop those super muties and take our nuclear power source because we're gonna need it to fight the institute and enslave mankind no, I'm just joking. I, I don't know what they're gonna do with it but the main thing is, is I'm in a suit of power armor and I'm happy. And we're gonna, next time, we're gonna go over there to that fort and we're gonna take all them super mutants down in this power armor. To it's gonna be fun. And I'll see you guys in the next part of Fallout 4. There's gonna be some annotations after the video that'll take you to other playlists and other stuff that I play and other games that I've played. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Who's that up there in the TV screen? He's on the YouTube. Oh, it's Uncle Phil. Oh my God, it's Uncle Phil. <laughs> I forgot about that. Go ahead and tell him bye, Dustin. Uncle Phil was threatening.